Hello everyone, I thought that we'd do something a little bit different today. I have a video showing you everything that's gonna be in tonight's online sale. For those of you who don't know, every third week of the month, we always do an online shopping on my website. Now this month got postponed because I just had a lot going on. I had to launch all my stuff that was in my Etsy shop for fall. And by the way, thank you so much for all the orders that came in. I'm working really hard around the clock trying to fill these. So just know that your order will be on its way if it's not already in progress. So yeah, needless to say, I had to postpone it to August 31st. I had just so much going on and I'm just one person trying to do a million things. But tonight, it's finally here. Online shopping starts at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my website. You want to go to fleamarketrescue.com. Now how this online shopping works is at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you want to be on my website. You're going to go to the shop page. So once you click the shop page, once you're on the shop page, you're gonna to wanna to go on the right hand side and click home decor. And at five o'clock, everything you saw in the preview will be there at five o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now it might not even be a bad idea to get there a few minutes early because this stuff does sell out pretty quick. And just one more thing before we go on to the preview, our store will be closed Labor Day weekend, September 1st through September 6th. We'll reopen on September 7th and we hope to see you there. Hi everyone, you guys all know Jenny. She's been in a lot of the trash to treasures here. Mm -hmm. So I gave Jenny this big doll rod to stir this up. <laughs> Jenny asked to use my glasses. She puts them on and she goes, oh wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> you... I can see to China. Mm-hmm. Well, today she is going to show you what we have for tonight's online sale. It's going to be great, guys. You're going to be so excited. I think Hold on to your bumper shoots. Bumper shoots? <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> okay, it's so thing. I'm sure you're pretty excited to see what we have. So I'm going to let Jenny tell you exactly what we have for tonight's online sale. Let's do it. So we're actually going to start down here. We're, gonna so start we're down. actually going to start down here with this lovely fork and knife sign. It is um, hangable. Um, it does have it like here, and there are. It's brand new, by the way. Brand new. There's there are things to hook your nails into back here. Okay, brand new, and that is lovely and very classic looking. It's like rustic slash classic. I can just picture that in somebody's dining room. Speaking of classy, check this guy out. Oh my gosh. Michelle, my sister, if you're watching, this would be perfect in your dining room. So, uh, but you gotta get to it first. Okay, because there's other people out there that are gonna be fighting for this bad boy. This beautiful wreath here. Can you guys, can you just guys, if you have like a light gray wall, oh my gosh, this guy will, uh, Make it so vibrant in there. I love it. Okay. And then uh, next on the list is the gather sign. Come on, who doesn't want everyone to just gather around? You know, our favorite gather place is the kitchen, obviously. We love oh, to, Jenny. I love to eat. <laughs> I don't care who knows it either. I think that is like great for Thanksgiving too. Can okay, you see some pumpkins and stuff? No, it just says a warm welcome to your family who's gonna be coming over. You guys are ready for that. Now, you guys might remember when this beaut came into town. Debbie thought it would be used very well if you take the mirror out and like hung it as a base for like a light or mm -hmm. a chandelier. Yep. I thought you might want a picture of me right in there. <laughs> Either way, real good ideas. This this is so beautiful and it does have um, spots to hang it from a corner so it would hang like a diamond. For a corner, okay. Okay, and then. Um, you might wanna to say too, it's pr it seems like it would be really heavy but it's really like lightweight. It so if lightweight. you wanted to hang it from your ceiling, you could. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And then um, next down the ray here, we have some Ray Dawn. You know we love our Ray Dawn. That's right. And you know you need a place to put your brown sugar. 
No guessing anymore. Your brown sugar would be in here, nestled comfortably. Okay. We'll just keep going with our warm Ray Dunn collection here. We have this casserole dish. I'm just seeing some uh, green bean casserole in there. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> we'll eat it together. <laughs> Now this is a very, very, like it's a vintage teapot and how, like, can it get more perfect of a teapot than that? Well, I, don't I will so. say it does have two flaws here, but that's okay because I mean, what do you expect? It's it very, adds very to old. The character. Absolutely. I see this guy, like anybody could use him as a vase. You could oh, put yeah. flowers in yeah. there. Or, I mean, like, it's when just, your granddaughter having tea, I think you guys would need, like, the little white gloves and stuff. How cute would that be? Love it. Okay. All right. And then tucked back here, we have this beautiful wagon. Yes. Think of the flower arrangement you could put in here. Maybe some mini mums, like little mum plants yes. that are just starting out. That would I be really cute. I know somebody who had one similar, and they, this holds two stacks of toilet paper if you need it in your bathroom. Oh, oh, I, I mean, if you're looking for a, like a creative way to do that, it worked for that really well. Oh, okay. So just endless possibilities for your wagon train there, especially if you have something Western, but it doesn't have to be. Next to him, we have this beautiful topiary. I mean, like so cute with the little framing on the base. And the, um, the finial on top. I mean, this is just a really, really cute piece. Mm hmm definitely. All right. And then as we move down, guys, aren't you guys excited? This is such good stuff. I love it. Okay, we have a minnow bucket. So I know some of you out there love the rustic look and want to bring your, some things like more masculine. Maybe you have a man cave for your husband and wouldn't this be a great thing? Like you could, um, you could put like all maybe the a fishing room, a hunting room, something like that. Absolutely, right? And like you can open this up. Maybe you could put flowers in that you too. You could put flowers in it. Yeah. Um, you could put remotes in there. I mean, we're thinking, dude. <laughs> we're I mean, thinking anything. dudes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anything, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. But a, a cute little fishing arrangement or something can tackle with that. And then you have this beaut. How adorable is that? This, like, the lid opens up. It's a terrarium. So succulent lovers, this is for you. You want to get this little guy and uh, and have him. Uh, Keep your guys nice and warm and all nestled in. Look at the detail on that. That is sharp, just, just sharp. And then we're moving on to this dough bowl. I actually did that for a trash to treasure. It was really like a dark red color. This was a dark red color? Oh yes. That's the Annie Sloan again. I painted it all nice Annie Sloan. Annie Sloan paints are fantastic. And if you guys haven't seen the Trash to Treasures, you really need to check them out. Um, first of all, because I'm in them now. Mm -hmm. Yes. But secondly, <laughs> <laughs> but secondly, because I mean, what a beautiful thing. Like this was a red outdated thing. And now it's a gorgeous centerpiece for any table. Um, this would be great on a sofa table or a dining table. Like maybe you could put a runner and then put this right on it. How sharp would that be? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have this beautiful bike. I know there's bike lovers out there that just oh, yeah. need this guy in their bookshelf. Oh, that would, that would look right? awesome in a bookshelf. Yeah. Right. You got mm -hmm. them all stacked in different ways and stuff like that. And then you got this guy tossed in there. Mm, I would love that. So cute. This is my favorite. I love this. This here. Mm -hmm. I adore this piece. I have been like, for the last couple weeks, I've been trying to showcase this in the store. Because if you guys didn't know, I'm like the Thursday girl here. She is. I so love company. Come see me. Um, but 
this guy is so cute. Like, first of all, we've seen these before where you have like the window and then you can like clip a, a note, a photo, anything you want to it. We've seen that, but have you seen one in this shape? It is so- The arch look. I know, I really yes. like that. I thought like black and white photos would look really good in oh there if gosh. you turn them black and white. So cute. I mm -hmm. mean, you could even wrap a little ivy or something if that's your bag, you know, like just adorable. The next piece is this beautiful verbiage art form. And this is, uh, this is our happy place. Guess what guys, we're there right now. We love this place. Um, but we also love doing videos, so it's a twofer. But how classic is this? Yeah, it's, just, like, it's very it's pretty, isn't it? It's simply beautiful. Mm -hmm. So for those of you out there that are looking for just something simple that says this is our happy place, here it is. You've worked hard to make that home your happy place. Now you got a sign proving it. <laughs> <laughs> so this birdcage box is the next item. And look at not just birdcage, but butterflies, all you natures, lovers. I think the bird on top. Yeah, I don't know. It might be a cardinal. I don't know, but it's so pretty. Like the colors but in it is pretty. I look at that and the butterfly. You know, it, you know how I like my black and white prints. Oh, I are. love it. I love it, but also makes me think of like for my aunt Doris, we really like embraced the symbol of the butterfly when she passed because it's a symbol oh. of new life. So just think of what you could do with this thing. And I know some people feel that way about cardinals too. That's why I thought maybe I'm not sure if that is a cardinal or not, but um, but so cute. You could put keepsakes in here. It's got a little hinge so you don't go too far. And look at the little iron work here. It's got a little stamped look in there. I got a friend again. And then there's little handles on the side too. So just a really nice like cube that you could store anything in. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're gonna move on to this piece here. It does have hardware so you can hang it on a wall, all right? And then it comes with these votive holders. But you know, if if candles aren't your thing, you don't have to stop there. How cute would this be if you put a little greenery in each of these? Um, or you could move you can move them around and put them on top. Yeah, you could also do that too. That would look you cute can, actually. Or you could put something else on top. You could leave them candles mm -hmm. and then put like a little vase here and a little something else to go yeah, with the little trinkets. For sure. So you really could dress this up and it's got that cute little crisscross pattern. pattern. Um, this is metal, guys. Really, really sharp. And it's distressed a little bit. Yeah, too. yeah. So it's got that, it's got that comfy look. All right, and hiding behind him is another topiary, a little different this time. I look at these kind and I always think like how like stately they look next to like a door or something like that. If you have like a cute little chair with a throw over it and this guy next to him just sounds so super cozy to me. Okay. And then this one is a vase. And I'm gonna tell you my vision for that is how sharp would this be um, with some like pussy willows coming out or like um, a fall collection there. It's kind of got that like off white that would really um, accent that sort of a thing. Um, I just, I, that's I think how I would do with that. I don't know. And then, you know, it, it has different sayings on each side. It so does. it says home. Let me spin those around. And then love, hope, and live. So you can spin it to whatever is striking your fancy at that time or whatever is speaking to you the most. Um, as we move on, we got more guys. Can you believe it? There's so much. I love this. There's so much for you guys today. This is one that's kind of near and dear to my heart. It's got a little P on it. Um, and I like to say P for peony because that's what we got inside the vase here. And this vase is actually a mason jar. So it's got that look. So, cause I know those mason jar lovers are out there and they do work good for everything. It does have um, hook in the back to be okay. hung. Okay. 
And that's just a real, real cute look. It's actually made out of a real door too. Yeah, it is. It's wood, it's solid wood. Yeah. So that's a really strong piece mm -hmm. and give a little pop of color to any room. And we are gonna move on to bacon. I know I'm not the only one that remembers when Kelly picked that up. She was like, whoa, 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 what's that? Bacon, even better. Yep. <laughs> so um, here's this guy. Super cute. I know you bacon lovers are out there and need this. You do. Okay. And then we have this, this um, slicer type antique tool. Okay. I'm, oh, I see. Like this slides over uh -huh. and then some things go through here, I think. And look at, this was. Uh, it's it, got a date on it and everything. This Patented is so, July twenty so fifth, eighteen fifty four. So for those of you who have like a farmhouse and you need a real nice piece, this is definitely something for your kitchen. Super cute, super cute. Very primitive. Yeah, I love the wood coloring too. Yes, because yeah. it's so old, you know. Me too. And if you if you do end up putting that in the kitchen, this would be a nice accent piece with it. This is a mug holder, so you just flip your mug upside down and hang it there. But it may, how cute would it be if you just had all different shaped like white mugs on this or something? You know, like something of that nature would just make this really shine on any like island or coffee bar. I mean, this this would call to me. I would be like, oh, so is that a place where I can go and get myself a coffee? Don't mind if I do. And then I believe this is our last piece. We have this green bird cage. Guys, look at this. It's all like two-tone and it's wrought iron and it is all, um, it hangs. And I always, I look at these hooks here. I don't, I don't know, like you could hang it. I think it's really more for a decorative type of look, but yeah. I guess you could hang it if you to, wanted to. You could, you tried, but I, but I think you could even use these to like weave like an ivy or a vining plant in there. Um, you could do that. You could put plants inside. You could use it for a newspaper rack. Um, I love the finish on it too. Yeah, yeah. You could roll up towels in here and put it next to your hot tub. All kinds of ideas. So, well, I think that's pretty darn good, that, right? That's that's what we have for you today, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, remember to go online at five o'clock tonight, and it will be posted on the flea market um, rescue website. Yeah, thank so. you, Jenny, for showing everybody what we had tonight. Happy shopping, everybody! So you guys, that's all the items we have for tonight. If you saw something that you had to have, make sure that you're on the website at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time.